Hey everyone, Mark McQuaid here with uh, RoboFlow, and uh, I just wanted to take the time here to go through a, a quick video of our recent integration into Amazon uh, SageMaker Studio Labs, okay? So um, first, uh, what is SageMaker Studio Labs? This is actually a fantastic article here um, written by uh, Karthik Bharathi. Uh, Karthik is actually with AWS, so um, great article that kind of walks you through exactly what SageMaker Studio Labs is. Um, and how to get started on it. Um, essentially what it is, is it is um, a no charge, no setup notebook environment designed for no, machine learning, right? So it, it's it's hosted Jupyter Lab. Um, so you can think of, you know, Google Colab. Um, it is AWS's kind of, you know, flavor of Google Colab, my, but it's more Jupyter Lab uh, environment as opposed to Google Colab is their own kind of proprietary notebook uh, version. Um, so yeah, and I mean, it's a, it's a great resource. It's a great platform. Um, it's free. Um, it also has persistent storage, which is fantastic. Um, that is something that Google Colab does not have, as an example. Um, in Google Colab, um, you have storage for the amount of time that your notebook um, is active. Um, but as soon as that notebook dies, uh, say, you know, I think it's uh, eight hours or 12 hours, um, then you uh, lose your storage. Where uh, SageMaker Studio Labs, the storage is persistent, right? So under your account, um, you know, you could have uh, files or image data, whatever that that is that just resides uh, from within that uh, in your account uh, forever, really, right? So, um, uh, and it's uh, it's a good size amount of persistent storage. I think it's a uh, 15 gigabit uh, uh, from a size perspective. So, you know, it holds uh, a lot of data and it persists, which uh, I always found that to be one of the biggest pains with uh, Google Colab. Um, and yeah, and I mean, if you're more used to, you know, a lot of a lot of developers, data scientists, machine learning engineers like to work in the uh, the environment of uh, Jupyter, Jupyter Lab. Um, it is exactly like that, right? Uh, there's no change in how you'll develop your your notebooks. Um, from how you would develop notebooks in, in a Jupyter Lab environment. Um, so like I said, I won't go into exactly uh, more information on this. Um, you also, another great thing I will mention, it, it, you don't have to have an AWS account, right? So you connect, you you sign up and you, you create a, a login and user, um, but it's not specifically tied to your AWS account, although you can, a, a new feature that they just announced, you can tie it to your AWS account. So you can then convert your development notebooks in SageMaker Studio Lab over to uh, production level code in your SageMaker Studio environment, which is, uh, you know, AWS SageMaker Studio um, is uh, the, you know, kind of ML development platform from within SageMaker. Um, and SageMaker is an end-to-end -end machine learning platform from within AWS, one of the best ones in the world. So um, yes, you do have the ability to connect it to your AWS account if needed, but you don't have to. So you don't have to have an AWS account. You don't have to give anyone your credit card, anything like that. Um, so another, you know, kind of great thing that you can do, you just sign up and, and you can start uh, writing your code. Um, so as I said, I'll, I'll put the link to this um, to this uh, article in the YouTube uh, comments or uh, in the uh, notes, and uh, you can check it out. It walks you through, you know, starting a <clears throat> a notebook, starting a terminal, you know, everything you need. Great, uh, a great notebook, uh, or sorry, great article. Um, you can connect your GitHub, you know, lots of things you can do. Um, so let's go over here, and I, I just wanted to highlight the integration, as I said, with uh, with RoboFlow that we've just got uh, started in the last week or so. Um, so as you see, I'm in the uh, SageMaker Studio Lab page, right? StudioLab.SageMaker.AWS, right? Um, and you have the ability, so it's still, you still need to request an account, right? So if you go in here, you request an account, you provide your email, first name, last name, your country, uh, organization, if you have one, your occupation, uh, why you're interested, if you have a referral code, you can go ahead. So once you do that, it usually takes about two days for you to get access. Um, and then you'll get an email stating your account's ready to go and you're all set, right? Um, you also have some good resources here. You can watch some videos, which kind of just walks through exactly what StageMaker Studio Lab is. Um, and, you know, talk about some of the benefits. It's free, you can get started in minutes. Uh, you can use CPU or GPU as well. Um, I believe the GPU underneath is the A10, which is the G5 instance type in AWS. So it's a pretty good instance type, pretty good GPU. Uh, there it is, yep, 15 GB of storage, right? So it's persistent. You can have your data in there and it resides, uh, lives on. Uh, you don't have to keep uploading data every time you go in and create a notebook. Uh, and you can join the community and you can, you can check out some examples on uh, GitHub and uh, check out some uh, questions on Stack Overflow. Um, so anyways, uh, so once you sign in, I obviously already have an account. You can see here, you can just sign in. 
it's going to take me in. And as you see, here is my project, um, you know, and I can select CPU or GPU, right? As you can see, uh, is GPU red for you, right? So there is some limits to the GPU. Uh, reason being, people were obviously taking advantage of the free GPU for extended periods of time and, and probably trying to do some some uh, crazy things on the GPU uh, utilization. So uh, there is some uh, uh, limits on the GPU runtime. There's also requires MFA. So um, if you need, this is actually a new thing that AWS put in, which I think is great because it uh, a lot of times they were running out of GPUs because people would obviously take advantage of the free GPUs and do you know. Uh, crazy things with it, maybe bots trying to do stuff. So um, now you need to put in a phone number uh, and have MFA associated. So I, it really freed up GPU capacity and there's a lot more GPUs. I have not run into uh, a lack of GPUs since they uh, they started the MFA. Um, so for this, I'll just keep it here. Um, as you can see, uh, it talks about, you know, going data wrangler, which is another AWS service for, for data cleansing, data processing. Uh, you get some credits. This is actually a good resource. AWS has a pretty good resource for machine learning. Um, it's like a course, they call it the AWS Machine Learning University. And you essentially, um, you know, can take your self-paced courses um, from within uh, AWS. Um, there's also a link to this uh, dive into deep learning book, uh, which is a fantastic book. It's absolutely massive though, uh, <laughs> but it is adopted by 400 universities from over 60 countries. Really, you read this book, you'll know everything you need to know about deep learning, okay? Um, great resource. Um, so anyways, let's go back out of here. Uh, and this is what I wanted to highlight here. So here we are now featured under the resources and community, uh, try computer vision, right? So this is uh, our tile, um, as you can see, takes you to RoboFlow. Um, and we've got three notebooks that we built specifically for SageMaker Studio Lab in this integration. Uh, one YOLO v5, uh, one for YOLO v7, and one for Stable Diffusion. Um, so let's open the Stable Diffusion notebook because I wrote it. So let's uh, take a look. So it goes into a preview mode here and you can see exactly what's happening throughout, okay, all the code. And then what you can do is, well, first off, I have to start my runtime. Let's just start CPU for this use case just to show it. Um, and as this is coming up, as you said, as I said, this is uh, you know the notebook in preview mode, um, and then you have the ability to when the uh, notebooks or sorry when the instance starts, I'll have the ability to pull in this notebook into my instance, um, or alternatively pull in the entire RoboFlow notebook repo. Um, so while this is firing up, I'll show you what that looks like. So this is also something that's fairly new. So we have this new notebooks repo um, that has a bunch of sample notebooks in here. Um, and as you can see over the years, we've created dozens of computer vision tutorials. And this repo contains you know, the notebooks that we've featured in blog posts, YouTube videos, et cetera. Um, it's still under construction, right? So we're still actively building it up, um, but it's a fantastic resource. So as you see, you know, you want to do YOLO v7, PyTorch, object detection, um, you can open in uh, you know, Google Colab, you can open in Kaggle, um, and we're actively adding uh, the ability to open in SageMaker Studio Lab to all of these notebooks as well, right? So, um, and oh, here's another one, football players tracking with YOLO v5. You can open that one in SageMaker Studio Lab. Um, and then we have here, here are the three we built specifically for SageMaker Studio Lab. Um, so you could alternatively click in here and it would open up uh, as well in your SageMaker Studio Lab account. Um, and like I said, these notebooks will all be available uh, to be opened in SageMaker Studio Lab. We're still actively working on that. But uh, it's also worth mentioning, you could, you know, take the notebook itself and more likely than not, you could run it in SageMaker Studio Lab now. Um, as I said, it's, it's very similar to a standard Jupyter environment. So you may not have any issues. Um, we're just going through testing to ensure we don't encounter any issues uh, with the notebooks, which we haven't fully done yet. So just to call that out, you could potentially just download the, the, uh, the, uh, the Python file, the, the IPYMB file um, and add it into your SageMaker Studio Lab account and it may run perfectly. Um, and that could be a good exercise for anyone who wants to do it. If they do encounter an issue, um, you know, working through things, working through your code when you encounter issue is always um, better from a learning experience, but um, it will be here for all these notebooks uh, in due time. So let's go back. So as you can see, my runtime is now started. So I can copy this notebook to my project. This is our stable diffusion notebook. Um, and you'll see what will happen here. Uh, okay, so it's opening it up. So here it is. I can clone the entire repo, which is this repo. Uh, it'll bring in every notebook, um, which again, as, as I mentioned, these notebooks will get brought in and more likely than not will will work, right? Like Yellow V7 PyTorch object detection should work. Uh, we just have not tested it fully as of yet. Um, or I can just copy the notebook only. 
Okay, so that would just bring in my stable diffusion notebook. Uh, I'm gonna cancel because I already have everything copied in here. Um, and as you can see, here's the link to our GitHub. Um, and then I'm in, right? I'm in here um, and here is my, too many tabs open here. Let me close some of them. Uh, do, 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 do. I've been doing some testing. That's why I have a lot of tabs open. Um, so as you can see, the notebook is in here, uh, walks you through the steps. Um, you know, this is uh, grabbing the uh, runway uh, stable diffusion model from Hugging Face, pulling it into your, uh, your environment here, uh, iterating through, creating some th synthetic uh, AI generated uh, data for your RoboFlow project. Pretty cool notebook, if, you, if I have to say so, because I did write it myself. But uh, other way, other than that, it is a cool notebook. Um, and you can run through that and you can go through all of the steps here. Um, and as I said, you would bring in, if you clone the entire repo, you would bring in um, all of our notebooks. So let me just go back here. RoboFlow notebooks, and here they all are here. So you could try running, you know, our clip zero shot classification data set uh, notebook here, go through it, you know, kind of lots of fun notebooks in here, uh, you know, ranging from YOLO v5, YOLO v7, YOLO x, um, open AI, clip, um, stable diffusion. So uh, I highly encourage you to uh, try this out. Uh, SageMaker Studio Lab, as I said, a fantastic platform. Um, really uh, great to to have that free GPU access, free persistent storage um, in your, your Jupyter Lab uh, environment. Um, and the RoboFlow notebooks are fantastic. So uh, like I said, I just wanted to create a quick video on this, um, showcase what it is and how to get into it and how to get into the, uh, the uh, RoboFlow uh, notebooks while in SageMaker Studio Labs. So please do check it out and uh, let me know if you run into any issues. If you run into any issues or you just build something really cool, uh, let me know. We always love that, uh, the community building amazing things. Um, yeah, and that's it. So thanks everyone and chat soon.